Okay, guys, so what are you doing? Welcome back into the channel, guys. Today, we are going to be taking a look at if the Rams have the best wide receiver duo in the NFL. The Los Angeles Rams offense is likely to be one of the best units in the league. Things in part to Matthew Stafford's talent. Um, doesn't hurt to have a triple crown Super Bowl MVP at wide receiver either. Cooper Cup took his game to a new level with Stafford at the helm, racking up 178 catches, 2,425 yards, and 22 touchdowns, including the postseason. He was a unanimous first-team All-Pro, most catches in the postseason by 33, NFL Offensive Player of the Year, Super Bowl MVP, and Super Bowl Champion. L.A. added wide receiver Allen Robinson in free agency in an attempt to give Stafford a jump ball specialist and a legitimate red zone threat. Recent polls on DraftKings Sportbooks as Super Bowl Nation reacts show voters expect the Cup Robinson new unit will pay a major dividend for Los Angeles as they were deemed the best wide receiver duo in the NFL. So the Rams led at 27%, Bengals 25%, with Jamar Chase, Tyler Boyd, and A.J. Green, and really that could be a trio in Cincinnati. Miami with Jalen Waddle, Devontae Parker, and um, Tyree Kill, which again is really another trio, got 21%. Las Vegas with Hunter Renfro. And Devontae Adams, which is going to be an interesting pair of 15%. And Tampa Bay only at 13% with Chris Godwin and Michael Evans. So we narrowly beat out Cincinnati Bengals in the polls. Our potential is there. Can't necessarily back this yet. As Stafford, Cup, and Robinson haven't played a single snap together. Where the Bengals actually have a trio in Jamar Chase, Tyler Boyd, and T. Higgins. There, that's what I was talking about. They got a trio that have logged significant snaps with Triggerman Joe Burrow. That's what I was saying. They got a trio. Um So that that that's what I was saying. And really Miami's got a trio too. Both Cincinnati and Miami will really have a trio because Miami's got Tyree Kill, which is gonna be huge for two of Tugaloivoa and Jalen Ronald and Devontae Parker, so that's really more of a trio there, too. Las Vegas is really only Honey Renfro and uh, Devontae Adams now. Darren Ronald is a beast, like always, so he's going to be a beast for Las Vegas. Tampa Bay, I mean, they haven't really signed Gronk yet, but, you know, they got, uh, they really have a duo with Michael, got, Wow, and Chris Godwin and Michael Evans, I tried combining the two, which I'd be a god player. Uh, they still have O.J. Howard, too, as uh, number two tight end, if they don't resign Gronk, which I'd have to believe with uh, Tom Brady coming back, that Gronk is going to come back, too. But, um, you know, I have to kind of believe that since Tom Brady's coming back, Gronk will more than likely probably resign. Because he doesn't want to leave Tom Brady. He's been with him in his entire career. His entire career. Now it would be a different story if Tom Brady retired. I think they would see Gronk retire as well. Which would have a solid tight end number two in O.J. Howard. But still, you know. Cooper Cup, Allen Robinson. It's going to be great to see those two together. Pair them up with uh, Van Jefferson. Possibly, um, possibly OBJ down the road. Tyler Higby, um, Chris Hopkins, Kendall Boyd, you know, um, and Cam Akers and Dale Henderson coming out of the backfield, you know, this could be a receiving team, you know, you know, right, so we got Cooper Cup, we got Allen Robinson, we got Van Jefferson, we got Tyler Higby, who's a great, good, solid tight end, he can block and catch the ball, Two receiving backs that can also two running backs that can also catch the ball very good in Dale Henderson and Cam Akers. But uh, I think that's gonna be basically it for today's video, guys. And uh, I will see you guys next time.